what's going on everyone everywhere in the field look at jay's here back with another sneaker review today i bring a pickup that i was able to get earlier this month like a week week and a half ago something like that what's today the 15th it was early like june i don't remember exact date and um i put a bid in and uh you know they accepted so here we are and you know i did a review on the uh veneer colorway and um yeah we're here with the second ugly duckling and i'm trying to get those plums and the ceramics supposed to restock later this year like in the fall time as it is a fall time sneaker the veneers are perfect for like now um and these came out last year so they spaced them out pretty good you know but um i wasn't able to get them at retail i was like fancy and then i was like no i really want them so i'm making an effort to add certain ones instead of just going to get releases that are dropping now um and yeah let's get into the review of the box here first your white nike and swoosh and red sportswear box that we've come to see throughout the years got your tag there nike dunk low se and dusty olive and pro green dh53603000 made in vietnam you have a little stamp action there that's your tissue paper ycm sticker there for the anti-mold as you know i want to get these moldy and um uh, here they are let's look at these beauties Woo! Yes, sir. Got these from StockX. And very clean. Loving it, man. So, yeah, these dropped last fall. So, these are very, like, fallish vibes. And, you know, got this, like, what would they call this? Pro Gold. You got the Pro Gold here on the outsole. Rubber outsole. Nike branding there. Got the star pattern there. Pivot point, white midsole, white stitching, so clean, fire colorway, and you know, these were going for big bucks like five years ago, whenever they, four or five years ago, I think it was four years ago, 2020, I think they released, 2019, 2020, somewhere around there, and you may, they made them limited like they made all those dunks limited, and you know, I was like, nah, I ain't doing that. Um, prices now are a little bit, way, uh, a lot better. The plums seem to be a little higher for whatever reason. They haven't come down. They've been steadily being there, but they're not going up. Um, just watching it and seeing what happens. And uh, eventually I'll cop them because I really like them. I think of those as like a Magneto colorway too. So, yeah. And you got this um, this dusty olive is what they're calling it here. And that is throughout your heel. I stay mud guard toe tip area there. It's fire. Perfect shade. And you got your pro gold laces here. And at the top of the tongue, you got that pro gold um, Nike, Nike swoosh there. I don't know if they, they're calling the Pro Gold here on the suede. It's probably that color, if you want to call it, but it's not the same brightness. But it looks like, like an orangey color there. You know, on the heel, you got your Nike embroidered in uh, that dusty olive. So it's a perfect contrast there. Then you got the brown on the heel, and that is mesh. Then on your underlay here, you have it in that suede, and your whole upper is suede, and it has a nice, um, somewhat premium feel. Again, I wouldn't go as crazy as to say these are as good as a, um, a New Balance made, but this is as good as what uh, Nike does here, and, you know, these are pretty cheap, so... Um, this is what it is and the inconsistency here don't know if you could see it I don't like this 
somewhat hairy suede compared to over here it's not that hairy and you can see the back strokes and everything here and I'll try to do it here some back strokes going on right there but the length is a little off so that's the only thing you got your brown mesh ballistic mesh tongue here well, like I said there, brown tag at the top, olive green piping at the top, behind the tongue is olive green, the pro gold lettering as well, sock liner is that um, olive green, that dusty olive, and insole is dusty olive, and your Nike and swoosh is in that uh that gold pro so yeah just um great job by nike you know nothing crazy um of a release you know classic colorway glad they brought them back they've been doing a lot of uh, bring backs of their, their program you know they did the 180 they brought back the linen um and they got other stuff planned. You know, they got the Dion coming back, um, which released, I think, yesterday, so the 14th. Price is not that bad. They were crazy when they did the Super Bowl. Like, they said they had like 1,500 pairs. I'm thinking all the bots got them. And now uh, more people got them and been selling them. And they might have got some people uh, these last couple months uh, that really, really wanted them. And thought that that was the release and then now um they're making a bigger release don't know if they're available in foot Locker, but i know foot locker released them i looked it up and missed out on that um don't know if nike's gonna release them later you know they're trying to do these um throw you off like you don't know what's going on with the release keep you guessing if you are into sneakers like that and or just always love that sneaker and you're back into it you're like oh those are my favorite i need to get them and so um as we've seen the air jordan 17 you know they did a super limited drop on those um select places that weren't sold on nike sneaker or anything like that so you had to really go get them seemed like a travis scott limited release you know um but at least nike actually releases them on um their website and uh, you have to go to these boutiques and whatnot. So uh, building up demand once again, uh, putting up $300 sticker tag for the sneaker, putting in the suitcase, which that didn't come originally. And, you know, eventually they're, they're trying to make it another pair that people want and keep it in the lineup like they do with 1 through 14, you know. They don't do a lot of 14s, but they always have the 14 on the lineup. We don't see the 15 and up, really. A couple years ago, they did the 18. I do have one. I don't have 17s or 16s, but I do like that um, that low 17 that just released. I was trying to pay 300 though. Not they're, they're not it for me at that price point. And you know. Um, it is what it is, but they're fire and I'll wait maybe over time. They'll re-release without the um, Suitcase in like five ten years and maybe I'll get them then but I ain't going Crazy to get those, you know, I Want something like this. This is a uh, very very wearable and just classic it hits suede You know cannot go wrong with certain uh, sneakers especially now that Nike has been dropping re-releasing their classics like i already went down i'm not saying it again but yeah super happy with these and the rating on them i'm gonna give these a hmm, like a 7.5 you know nothing crazy you know but i'm happy with them So, glad to have them in the collection. Trying to get these ugly ducklings um, in the old collection and whatnot. So, yeah. Thank you, Nike.
for re-releasing these and for the market being what it is. Our YouTube, hope you enjoyed this review. It's your boy Logan J and I'm signing out. Peace.